there are lots of confusion between Microsoft IntraJoin and IntraConnect. Hey guys, I'm Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. You are watching Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. And in next three minutes, I'm going to guide you and help you to understand about the gap between Microsoft IntraJoin and Microsoft IntraConnect. You know very well about Microsoft did lots of changes with their services, especially with the Azure Active Directory. Yes, the IntraJoin and IntraConnect is the latest uh, name of our Azure Active Directory join and Azure Active Directory Connect. The work of Microsoft Intra join whenever we connect our on-premises Windows 10 or Windows 11 machine directly to the Microsoft Intra Admin Center, which is considered as a Microsoft Intra join. That will help us to protect our BitLocker key. Yes, we are able to save our BitLocker key directly to the Microsoft Intra Admin Center. And also we are able to set up a recovery for on-premises local administrator password over a cloud, over a Microsoft Intra Admin Center. And if we talk about Microsoft Intra Connect, as per the name suggests, the, earlier it was Azure Active Directory Connect, but nowadays we can consider it as a Microsoft Intra Connect. As per the name suggests, with the help of this particular service, by using this particular tool, we are able to connect our on-premises domain controller that you established on any server operating system, maybe server 2019, R2016, R2022. You have already created multiple users on on-premises domain controller and now you are trying to synchronize all the users from on-premises domain controller to Microsoft IntraConnect. Then Microsoft IntraConnect tool will help you. You are going to establish a hybrid infrastructure. Number of users and mailboxes that you establish on on-premises exchange server and the same user and same mailboxes you want to sync with Microsoft 365 portal to enhance the availability of our mailboxes. Then again, Microsoft IntraConnect can help us. I hope you, everyone are able to understand about the gap. Microsoft IntraJoin is applicable for client operating system like Windows 10 or Windows 11 operating system. But Microsoft IntraConnect that will help us to connect our on-premises to main controller to synchronize their users to Microsoft 365 portal. This is all related to the gap between IntraJoin and IntraConnect. For more informative videos, please do subscribe here on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care. Bye-bye.